Are, well, you're talking about the primary. Are you talking about like unrealistic standards, like a lot of unrealistic standards on women? Yeah. Like body, the body count thing is like, if I could say, like the body count thing, that's not really like the main one. It's like what? the way you look, like, but you gotta be having, a perfect you have to like slim waist, big boobs, big butt, all these like things that women feel that they have to be like in order for a man to like them and like living under the male gaze and things like that mm-hmm. that's what <laughs> why sorry it's just the buzzwords easy? the male gaze okay <laughs> see any okay, sort like well, it's, it's so I interesting think, to so. me that that basically like male male sexuality is pathologized like if men right. are gay, like looking in your direction you basically just want to patholo- pathologize and almost crim- actually in the UK in the United Kingdom they attempted to criminalize staring okay I'm not saying the male this gaze is the like that I'm saying that we, what in, is the male gaze okay, a guy looking okay, at I'll you explain. you know like the no that's not what it is there's the female gaze which is like women typically like men who are like really strong or like yeah. th- like they live in they like like these certain things about men that's like living under the female gaze if like you are doing a certain thing to yourself in order to please a woman so for women it's like act like doing things that you like to yourself so that you can please a man can i can i ask you something do you think women actually amplify the pressure that they put on themselves and i say that because you just yes. talked about um, I think that's what the yes. first movie trying about, to trying actually. to trying to live up to live up to a standard <laughs> you notice this you notice other women with big boobs you notice the women in magazines you notice the women on social media and everything like that you're comparing yourselves to those women you still get approached by men right men still mm-hmm. find you attractive so if men still find you attractive if men still come your direction then what is it that you, what makes you insecure? You're doing it to yourself. Yeah, you mentioned there's this pressure on women to have thin waist, big boobs, big Who ass. Who puts the pressure Don't, on themselves? Didn't, the pressure you, on didn't yourself. you say earlier you're currently dating like three or four men? <laughs> I'm or you not have a, dating. Okay, you have a roster of three or four men? Or was that yes. your friend? I don't know. No, that it, was me, yeah. Are you struggling to get men? Not particularly. Do you think you need to modify anything about you to attract men? There, well, I mean, you said there you were have 10, been right? times, yes, but there have been times where I felt like, and still, there you go, right you now, just said it, what you just said it, uh, there yes, have been right times now. where I felt like I felt like I had to act a certain way, look a certain way in order for a man to like me, but that's no one told just, you to act, no, no, no one told me to, but players. that's how it is in our society, but do, okay, like, so and you mentioned like happens. unrealistic body standards, etc. Um, who do you think is more picky when it comes to dating men or women? Um, well, it's personal. I mean, I went to an all-girls school for, like I said, for seven okay. years. So it's kind of like, yeah, I don't really know. Like, I honestly don't know okay. because of that. Well, who do you think? If you had, to, if you had, to, if you had to ballpark it, you think men are more selective or women are more selective? Um. Well, I guess it's difficult to say because I think women get approached by men more so they can reject men more or like... So if they reject so men more, don't you think there would be more criteria for them men have to meet? Do you think there's more Do you think there's more criteria men have to meet to attract women or vice versa? I guess women are... I don't know. Like It's, it's impossible for her to I, acknowledge that men, in, that, that men are somehow... the at a deficit in one realm of human endeavor because no, I, mean, I, I recognize that men struggle for reasons. Well, like let's, let's keep it to the body thing. Right. So, okay. Um, okay. you said that when it comes to appearance, that there's this like expectation that women have to live up to of like a certain body type. And because of the Barbie movie, I didn't see the Barbie movie, but I guess it touched on it in the movie that, women have it harder when it comes to body type just living in like, society just living in a society yeah. do you think that that same pressure exists for men yes definitely. now here's my hot i don't think it's a hot take but here's my position um i would actually argue that depictions of aspirational bodies for men are far harder to attain than what you see of women so the aspirational body type for a man is far harder than the aspirational body for a woman for the average person, probably, yeah. Well, like it depends on 
the person and their body well, type. Well, the, the other thing I would add to, let me ask, do you care about a man's height? Would you want to, um, do you care about height? Not, maybe not as much as other women I've heard. What, what's your ideal height for a guy? You're 5'1", right? Yeah. Ideal um, height for a guy? Like, I guess like 5'7". Okay. Half. Would you date a, would you want to date a guy who's like 5'2"? Probably not. Probably not. It depends on who okay. they are. If they're a really good guy, we'll have to see. Sure. Do you like really skinny guys? Um, like who have I no muscle? Really... Do you like a muscular guy? Um, a little, yeah. not like super like bodybuilder, gigantic no, yeah, steroids. I like muscles. You like, like some muscles. But okay. it's not going to be like a deal breaker. Do you like fat guys? <laughs> what? Like what? what don't don't worry. I'm, ge- I'm gonna I'm getting somewhere. Go ahead. Um, like. Fat, obese. It's like the scissor song, that? big boys are better. <laughs> Just go ahead. I guess it's not really my type. I've never been into a guy that sure. is like that. Okay. But um, do you I have any, pre- like that. when it comes to race or skin color, do you have any preferences there? Not. Okay. Um, so what I would argue, um, let me ask, if a guy is lacking in the bulge, is that deal breaker? That, no. Don't care? Okay, that's fine. Um, would you prefer a guy, like, if a guy was balding, would that kind of be a turn off or unattractive? Well, I'm 18, so, like... Some, some guys start balding <laughs> early. I don't know. I probably, yeah, I mean, it's not like okay, I well, want Okay, well, let's that. say, think forward to 25, some of the men in your age co- cohort uh, are going to start losing their hair. Like, would I wouldn't you prefer want them to be balding, but, like, if they were, if I really love them, like... But would you, <laughs> generally speaking, like, do you find men who are not balding more physically attractive? Yeah, I guess. I, most women do. So, I mean, kind of going on this whole thing of, well, the body expectations of women are, like, really intense and there's so much to work up to. I would actually argue that for men, it's way harder because of the things that both men and women we judge each other for, there are far more things that men can, that are outside of men's control that women judge men for. So height, penis size, physical size. um, If they're losing their hair, that's a big thing for a lot of women. A lot of women don't like that. Um, I'm not saying men are not subject to like societal standards. I'm just saying that women have it worse like disavow yeah a bit not like really. no no not a bit like they do have it worse that's my opinion and i think that like m- the the whole like thing with bodies and like the beauty standard like that's not even like half of what's wrong with society sure there's more but just speaking specifically on the body thing that's like the one like topic that men kind of like are no, I feel like I agree with in. Q that it's women who kind of did that to themselves yeah. because if you look if you look at it really when that body started to become trending, it was when the Kardashians did it. That's when everybody wanted the small waist, the big boobs, the big ass. So it's like women we did that to ourselves yeah. by making that, that popular, by praising those women, by giving them all of our attention and money and then now guess what? It's not a trend anymore and all of them are getting their BBLs but removed women, and now we're admiring being skinny again. It's like we create these standards for ourselves. But and it's I think not that's really what the women, actually about. Well, it's not really like women specifically who are like doing that. I think men also well, are the ones who are praising it and it's not just women. You cannot woman, argue though. that a woman c- getting, I don't know a woman getting mean. surgery on her own body is her only decision. That's not a man's decision. That is yeah, literally but her only that is that's her. A, that's but it's so, like in our society so like, you men can't blame kind that of on anybody else. Cr- like in some ways men created some of the standards that are for women well, in look, society. I'm, it's not just women. Sorry, who sorry to disappoint it. you. It's y- not do, just women who created well, it at all. Yes, but men, men like okay. It, men, men are attracted to women with big breasts. Like, w- men are attracted to women with big asses. However, like most, I would say most men. That's not like. There are some men who just have a big titty fetish, whatever. Like, that's. I think that's really not gonna be first off you don't want to be with a guy that doesn't like you the way you are obviously you should take good care of yourself you should be in good shape you should uh you should have good hygiene etc but like if i think i I think you've spoken on this cue and we have nick over here like you have three men sitting in front of you i earlier i said i don't like women with plastic surgery i don't Mm -hmm. i even said it's it's not even like i really want a girl with fake 
uh, with big boobs. I said I would prefer a girl with small boobs. I'd prefer a girl with a little belly than lipo belly. I'd prefer a girl with a small upper lip than lip fillers. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer a girl with like okay. a smaller ass than, than with a BBL. And Q, I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm saying you're not, right. you're not I'm a not, fan I'm of plastic I'm not, surgery, I'm not a Nick. fan of any alterations. I feel so you got I, three guys here that aren't really into plastic surgery. And the majority of men could think like that too, but it's just as women, we have praise these these women the famous ones that do it so much we think oh that's the that's what i have to do i have to look like them i need to be like them i need to get the money like them I, all the men will like me like they like them but it's like it's the, the most but like most men like he said don't actually care about that they don't actually like that but we see the famous women doing mm -hmm. that and it's what we admire and we want to be like them refined underscore randy donated 99 dollars are men or women lacking more nowadays in terms of husband slash father and wife slash mother, and explain your take. Bring back Chase, Mary, and Josie Ann on the same panel. Hashtag Christ is King. Amen. Yo, Randy, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Um, are men or women lacking more nowadays? I mean, I think both men and women are. I don't. I'm not trying to play a blame game here, where it's like, just, like, I think both men are lacking, and I think women are lacking. I think we both. Got to level up. Mm -hmm. um, did you yeah. want to finish your point really quick, or did you kind of have it? I don't remember. That's that's yeah. fine. Um, um, I finished. Can I add something? Really quick. I, I do think that it is a lot harder for men because us women put the expectation on things that men cannot physically change besides yeah. maybe, like, working out. Okay? But, like, in terms yeah. of, like, penis size and, like, height, that's something us women put a, the pressure on men for. But on the other hand, us women, we're the ones who willingly choose to scroll on social media and compare ourselves to other, to mm -hmm. other girls. Like the guy yep. said, they guys will reality, praise though. anything. Yes. Well, but and, and that's, that's kind of what I was saying mm -hmm. earlier is that when it comes to, like, judging other people just on a purely physical basis in terms of what we find attractive physically in the opposite sex – Again, my, my position would be women have far more criteria when it comes to physical attractiveness for men that are completely outside of men's control. Height, penis size, balding, sexual stamina, sexual function, a lot of these things are totally outside of men's control. Whereas like what the, the big thing I'd say with women is weight and that's within your control. Men don't really care about your height. Women don't really bald. So that's not a factor. So when it comes to hair, that's totally not a factor with women. Um, this is going to be kind of vulgar. Loose pussy is not nearly as prevalent as men with like average or below average penis Michael. size. That's it. Plus Kegels, you can fix that shit. Just saying. Okay, I didn't mean to take it there. but To answer the super chat, I think that um, the sexual revolution is screwing all of us over or has screwed us all over. Also on the physical front, I would argue that physical disability is a far bigger disadvantage for men than it is for women. Isn't so, it sad we're only talking about physical appearance, though, and not who people actually are? Like, I mean, physical attraction is huge. Why would that be sad? Why you gotta, why sad. She why brought you gotta, it up. Why you she brought frame it, up. it as I more. Agree with her. Here, yeah. let me just finish my point here. Physical disability, far bigger disadvantage for men. So for, uh, sexual function for men with spinal cord injuries, fucked. Whereas a woman, you can still, I mean, you can still... Fuck, I guess. Um, I would argue a woman in a wheelchair could get laid far easier than, than a man <laughs> yeah. in a wheelchair. I'd say she could get laid more easily than an able-bodied dude. <laughs> Why? Because she can't run away? Also, males who are not uh, neurotypical are going to struggle far more than women when it comes to dating, too. So there's a whole bunch of things. Um, is there anything else from the Barbie movie, though, that you wanted to... Okay, the Barbie movie was just an example. I think everyone should watch the clip of the woman. I don't know what part it was in, but it, she's explaining, like, the struggles that women go through. Anyway, um, but that's, like, appearance and all that is it's really not, like, the biggest sure. thing. It's what? also, like, the wage gap when women are work Like, women work in the same field as a man, and a man gets paid more. What is, like, what is that about? And just the wage gap's been debunked a million times. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Did they, they mention the wage gap in the movie? I, I think they did, but um, I don't really remember exactly. But the, the, there is there's not a wage gap. There's an earnings gap. And the earnings, but like it's a very you basically the whole like trope of women make seventy five cents to a dollar. It's the numbers always changing. That doesn't account for like dozens of different factors. Exactly, yeah. It's basically comparing 
all the money that men make and all the money that women make in this country without factoring in people that don't work hours work hours work you know, leave um uh, overtime overtime it's also a type of profession it just it's across the board also if a woman takes time off of maternity leave so say you take decide to stay at home and raise your kid for two three years you are two or three years behind in your career mm -hmm. like that is a factor you have to face mm -hmm. and as yeah. far as the barbie movie it, it does talk about like because i did see it and i actually do like the monologue that she says i do think it has this idea of it you everyone is held to such a high expectation that's not achievable and they're shamed when they can't even get near it. It's like if someone's overweight and they're working out in the gym, people make fun of that person, but that person's trying to better themselves in that. Yeah. And, and for women, I would say we, where we do struggle is we live in a society where it's, where we, you know, we try to own our sexuality, where we, you know, we try to do this and then we're criticized and crucified by public if we don't, or if we do. And then at the same time, it's like if we're this, you know, quiet, shy girl, you know, it's something that people don't necessarily always think is the most appealing thing. Or, or if you're the plain Jane is like an insult for people. But it, I would yeah. say it's both sides. Because if you don't like a girl, and, and I've called some friends out for this, looks aren't everything, you should really get to know a person. Exactly. But why is it that when a woman makes an insult to another woman, the first thing she comments is her looks? Because women are more aware of each other than anybody else. And that's what I just said. Women are petty. It, the term, the term the problem intersexual too. competition. Yeah. It's intersexual competition. Actually, isn't the first insult a woman's going to say to another woman is she's a slut? Yeah. That, yes. Isn't yeah. that That's the go-to? Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So, um, intrinsic awareness of body count. 